Let's deal with him. He's got me spiked. Bay door is open. Actually, we're gonna go for guns. Oh yeah, look at that cinematic view for you guys. He gets splashed. What you're seeing is F117 Stealth Fighter, a game from 1991 that you can still get on Steam, created by Microprose. It's a full-size sim where you have to dodge enemy radars, fly in a stealthy fashion to take out enemy targets. Hopefully you enjoy this flight. Welcome back to uh, the channel, it's Plasma1945, and uh, unfortunately I will have to switch over to uh, a new pilot here. Well, I'm going to go back to my second lieutenant, my uh, first lieutenant. Unfortunately, experienced a crash when the F-117 rolled off the runway um, in Northern Cold Peninsula. So we're going to leave it on easy landings. So we're going to stick to a Micropro's F-117 so we have guns and more weapon bays. And uh, let's do a flight in F-117 Strike Fighter. Uh, we're rocking Central Europe. Let's uh, switch this up and uh, let's do a mission up in the Cold Peninsula. Strike mission. And see if we can get this to be an inspiration for a DCS mission. Let's hit up a briefing, see what we got for us. No carrier landings, please. All right, Galavera. Cargo ship. Destroy the CV Kremlin. And then fly all the way back. All right, well, this should be an interesting mission. It's a very long flight. Let's take out our mission briefing here. Merchant ship controlled by Terrorist Group carrying a nuclear device. Okay, easy peasy. I uh, destroy that ship and then take out the Soviet carrier task force. It's going to be part of a raid into the Norwegian Sea. Unlikely they'll be able to sink her, but set her on fire. Okay, well. Last time we've seen the ability to take out a carrier was, I don't even know. All right, let's keep going. Take it from Galloware. We need, uh, how much fuel do we need for this one? 9,684 pounds of fuel. We need quite a bit of fuel here. All right, well, let's take a look at our uh, radar threats. Yak 38's out of Loki. Cam has MiG-31, so those are significant. MiG-31's here. We've got an SA-10, so the Severed Vinsk is going to be a primary SAM side that I'll need to take out on my way in. That one will be slinging missile at me. And so is... Kush, 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 Kushara. Kush, Kushara. Okay, it's got MiG-29s there, and Severed Vinsk has... Looks like it's supposed to have fighters, and the SA-2 is a, is a piece of junk. So realistically, push through take out Severodvinsk, take out Kushkushara, take out the targets, and uh, get out of there. All right, let's take a look at our weapon loadouts here. Got a couple of harpoons. We've got sidewinders. I'm going to switch out the slicks to a couple of mavericks here. Two mavericks, one for each radar. And uh, fuel's going to be tight enough to make sure I don't waste it. Let's hit the uh, hangar and uh, strap on and head out. Cleared for takeoff. All right. Brakes are set. Maximum thrust. Drop the brakes. There you go, cut the engine sounds, we don't want to hear those. We'll throttle all the way back and we are airborne. Do you have any friendlies in the air? Yeah, we do. We've got a Thunderbolt here. He's cruising around. There he is. Look at these fancy graphics of this fantastic Thunderbolt as he flies around. All right, let's get on course. Climb for altitude. Engine 
and an F-15 Eagle. Let's take a look at the F-15 Eagle. That's me and my F-117, but how's that Eagle looking? Looks like that Eagle's coming in for a landing over at the Galavera Air Base. It looks like there's other aircraft actually parked on the uh, on the ramp. Cool. All right. I've cut the sound so that you guys aren't getting overwhelmed by the sounds of the engine just screaming at you. So let's roll out. I'm going to accelerate this by two times. Radars are picking me up. I slightly don't care because I am uh, I'm that awesome. But yeah, I've got to fly through an accelerated time because this is a very long haul. I've got 156 kilometers to waypoint one and then another 203 kilometers. So we're talking about almost 120 miles. And looks like I've got some hostile aircraft already coming to look for me. So let's switch our MFD on the left side here to a tactical view. Isn't it awesome how they could not draw a perfect square? So each square was sort of a, a set of squares. Very cool. And I think I've got a uh, MiG of some kind. I believe it said MiG-29. There you go, there's a Fulcrum over there. He is not seeing me, he flew right by, perfect. He's got no idea that I'm penetrating their airspace. He's heading to my last known location. And this is the other amazing thing about this game. Is, uh, by the way, I could turn on the sounds of the engine. But it's super annoying, so please forgive that. I'll put some music in here. But uh, that's how amazing this game is, actually. That MiG-29 Fulcrum is heading to the last location where I was. Away from me. Climbing for altitude. I'm just cruising along. I dropped altitude and kind of got behind him before he could identify me. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome. All right, we're back in accelerated time. I've climbed up to altitude again, and I'm uh, flying at 80% thrust to res conserve my fuel. Going full mill in the F-117 is never a good idea. Only about uh, 10 miles from the uh, waypoint, so let's, uh, let's pull up our st strategic map view here. But that's okay. Penetrating radar defenses. There should be a radar close up on my right side. There you go. Radar at low key, 22 kilometers, about 10 miles. I'm low. He does not see me. This game is not like the F-15 game. This is not about uh, not about uh, going in for dog fights. Now, air tear mode. Got a foxhound on my nose. Let's take a look at his awesome model. So they use kind of padlocked on him, so we can actually just watch him turning around. All right. Let's deal with him. He's got me spiked. Bay door is open. Actually, we're gonna go for guns. Oh yeah, look at that cinematic view for you guys. He gets splashed. I fly right by. And he explodes behind me. Alright. That was uh, not a good idea. I did climb up very high. Just for that cinematic look. And now I have to get back down to the deck. Something definitely sees me, and this is not a good idea. All right, next target. Got two ships on my nose. So let's deal with them. Right back down. Oh, yeah. Whoever's behind me there is giving me one hell of a... One hell of a ping. 
you got pulse radars going off from the ground. Those are the solid black squares, and the red squares are uh, aircraft. Got some cargo ships in here as well. Lots of detail in this uh, in this awesome game here. So there's a cargo ship. There's my F-117 flying by. All right, I am carrying the Harpoon missile, which gives me a lot of range. And I should be within striking distance of my targets pretty soon here. I may not even need to deploy my, uh, my Maverick to take out the SAM sites. All right, there's a first uh, marker. Those circles are usually ground targets. And I'm getting spiked. No, those are just nails, so not quite spiked, but getting nails. And that's from the Kukushara SAM site. I believe that's an SA-10 site, so he has range. If I climb up, oh yeah, he's looking straight at me. So, I'm gonna execute a notching maneuver. Radar ID. Even though I'm on the deck, you can see me without any problem. So Kukushar is paying a lot of attention to me. He's got to notch him out and approach from the side. The glowing crosses are my targets. But how awesome is that? As soon as I put him into a notch, his radar is not pinging me as much. My visibility on the electromagnetic spectrum is on the bottom where it says EMV, EGR, EAR. And look at that, as soon as I nose on, Severo is starting to paint me. Okay, he's got, I'm being tracked. He's being, so he, I've got, they've got me spiked. So I'm gonna execute another 90 degree turn. All right, SA-10 launch on me. And I've got another SA-10 launch on me. Oh boy, this is not good. Got two missiles inbound. All right. ECM on. Draft dispensed. He's been notched. And head for a uh, very rapid notch here. Everyone's still looking at me. Maverick. I'm still way too far here for a shot. I do need to take him out. And I've got a fighter coming up on me. Be in range within about 15 miles. I've got a hostile fighter on my six o'clock. Let's take a look at what fighter that is. Got a foxhound. Not good. All right, 31 kilometers from Severodvinsk. You do these missiles, they are fire and forget. Start rolling out. And, uh,. Big 31 has decided to leave me alone. Perfect. There's my Maverick heading in for Severodvinsk. We're about to have impact in three, two, one. Boom. Radar is down. All right, Kukushara. Soviet Air Force is very confused as to what's going on here today. So I've got a missile in trail. I don't think that missile's tracking, is it? Nope, that missile's not tracking. Cool, I'm okay. 
that's not Google Shore, that's uh Box pad behind me just launching crazy missiles in every direction possible. Cool man. Just keep launching those missiles. Just blindly launching missiles, alright. Another Maverick out. Maverick is on its way. A nine is fired. Let's uh start dispensing chaff. You see I'm on. Air terror mode. We'll be out of chaff here pretty quick. Switch to sidewinders. Alright, Sam radar is down. Missile. He's jamming the WES, look at that guys. Whoa, plasma stalling out. Not good, not good, not good. If 31 is cold, this is my chance. Let's come around. right on top of me. I don't have the fuel for this. He's in the vertical. Son of a bitch. I can't fight him up there. I just can't fight him. No, 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 no. Don't stall out. And things are definitely going from bad to worse. 31 circling. We got a flanker inbound. And I'm down and I'm out of missiles. Get a sidewinder. Flanker is down. Let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, Flanker Meister. But I don't have time for the war here. I need to take out my primary target. Alright, CV Kremlin. Primary target. Secondary target. Bomb bay door open. Have a harpoon here. I'm still being spiked by someone. Alright, missile's on its way. Bomb bay door closed. Dropping altitude. How does it look like? Missile's on its way. Alright, let's roll out. And watch that missile come in. And look at that, it's an actual, proper... A9... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Good hit. Target hit. I'm out of here. Gremlin is so huge, he's just filling up the entire screen. He's hit. That's all I needed to do. Pop another harpoon. Cargo ship is much easier to deal with. Got the entire Russian Air Force on me. They are very pissed.
primary target is hit, I'm getting the hell out of here. Primary target hit. I've got one missile left and the entire Russian Air Force on my ass. Hi, right, Mr. Flanker. You're about to get schwacked. Alright. So flies right by. Let's get some altitude in this plane. Gonna drop a decoy. Decoy's out. And I'm out of here. They're all very busy with my decoy. I dropped it from some sufficient altitude. It should still be active for quite a bit of time. Three hundred and sixty-two kilometers to base. I've got 366, probably 3,600 pounds of fuel. Usually I do one unit of fuel for one kilometer of distance traveled. And that Russian Air Force is too busy engaging, chasing my shadow here. I have a fox bat off my uh, right side. There he is. But uh, I don't think he sees me. I still have two more decoys. I'll drop another one over the coast. Foxbat is back there, but he's not quite closing. So he's doing a search pattern. All right. Where's that coastline? Where's that coastline? Still a ways to go. Okay, it looks like he's lost track. He's turning away. All right, let's accelerate time. I think it's safe to do that right now. I got a little spicy there. Armory completed, secondary completed. I am completely Winch Winchester. Out of weapons. Something is still tracking me, but I can't I can't zoom in behind me sufficiently. I do need to drop a decoy here somewhere very soon. I think it's time to do that. Let's start going for altitude. You're getting spiked. The drop needs to happen above 3,000 meters because the decoy takes a while to descend. Drop of decoy and There you go, Fox 2 flies right by behind my plane here. They should all be chasing my decoy for a bit here. That's right, Plasma's not here. Chase my decoy. What? Oh, 
final roll would they shoot an A9 at me? Whoa! Did you guys see that? Missile just flew right by. And now officially I'm out of chaff. Wow, that was close. Did that last second maneuver and uh, it worked. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Check our ranges. 246, 260 fuel. Uh, the Russian Air Force is not pursuing. This is good. They've got an SA-2 radar on my left side somewhere. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, that looks like an SA-2 site. Of course, all radars are identical in this game, so... The only different change in the name is really just the type of missile launcher it has. But usually the base radar itself is fairly, fairly standard. All right, looks like the radar on my left side has powered down. The radar on my right side to the north is active. Okay, that's an SA-2 side as well. I think I can start climbing for altitude here. I'm feeling quite safe after uh, doing all that damage to both a ship with terrorist weapons on it, as well as the CV Kremlin, an aircraft carrier that was never built. But when this game was made, that was probably a pretty big threat. They probably thought it was going to be a second Kuznetsov-class uh, carrier. All right. Look at that. ILS has already kicked in. How far away am I from the airbase? I'm, I'm almost like a hundred and... I'm pretty darn far for ILS to kick in. Yeah, good luck, boys. I mean, if a MiG-31 was active right now, he could chase me down. But he is not. I have plenty of fuel. I've got... Um, looks like we've got an extra 200 pounds here. Yeah, this is definitely telling me to descend. The Russian Air Force is still persistent. Alright, ILS, bring me in. 10 miles. Bring our thrust down to 50%. In case you're wondering, I am doing all this with just the keyboard. There is no mouse support, but there is joystick support. But I've never flown this game with the joystick, I'll tell you that. Not once in my entire life since 1991. All right, nine kilometers. Cleared to land. Gear down. percent thrust. Thanks are out. Nice landing. Thank you. And there you have it guys. Second Town Plasma successfully landed after completing primary and secondary objectives. Three enemy aircraft shot down, four enemy ground installations were destroyed. Let's uh, do a replay here. For the glory of uh, stealth airplanes.
Foxhound taken out. Maverick released. Radar at Severodvinsk is out. Another Maverick. Takes out the radar at Arhangelsk. Sidewinder. Sidewinder. That was a dogfight with the MiG-31. Shot the flanker down. Harpoon. Kushkushara. It's interesting. Kushkushara is being listed as... Not, not the carrier. Interesting. Keep going. Harpoon released. Primary objective destroyed. Sidewinder. Flanker shot down. And then running away. And a good landing. I'm okay with that. There you go. Plasma has made first lieutenant. And a distinguished flying cross. I better get that for hitting a carrier. All right, well, there you have it. A successful flight, and uh, Plasma's out of here. Cheers, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and uh, leave comments and such with your feedback.